Welcome to Jetline Marvel, and I hope you're having a good time. In this video, we'll look at the Tejas MK2 aircraft and their variants, which are made in India, we learn how this aircraft differs in terms of features and capabilities. Tejas MK2 is an improved version of Tejas MK1. Hindustan Aeronautical Limited designed and developed this aircraft. The LCA project was launched by the Indian government in 1983 with the goal of replacing the IAF's aging fighters by the early 1990s, particularly the MiG-21 variants, which had been the IAF's mainstay since the 1970s. The LCA was given the name Tejas in 2003. The MK-2 is a high-potential aircraft that can meet international standards and compete with today's most advanced jets. It is built to withstand a long combat range and carry large number of weapons. The following are some of the features that will be included in the MK-2. The Tejas MK-2 is a medium-weight fighter that will be the Indian Air Force's future backbone. Currently, the Tejas MK-2 is primarily intended to replace a wide range of aircraft, including the MiG-29, Mirage 200, and Jaguars, and will eventually complement Sukhoi and Rafal. The Tejas MK2 will have two closed canards with a tailless delta wing shape. Delta wings refer to the triangular shape of the wings, and tailless means that it has no other horizontal surface beyond those massive triangular wings. Canards are a type of stabilizer or elevator that are installed in front of the main wing of an aircraft. A canard is used for a variety of reasons, including increasing lifting force, control stability, and flow changes over the main wing. The Tejas canards will be controlled by a fly-by-wire system, which will allow them to respond quickly and provide superior maneuverability. The Tejas MK2 will be equipped with an Utam Gallium Arsenide based version radar, which will be installed in the aircraft's nose. That would be able to detect an object 0.1 meters squared from a distance of 18 kilometers, and a 1 meter squared object from a distance of 170 kilometers. The engine is the heart of any aircraft. And while the Tejas MK1A is powered by a GE 404 turbofan engine that produces 53.9 kN in dry thrust and 90 kN with afterburners, the Tejas MK2 will be powered by a General Electric F414 that produces 58.5 kN in dry thrust, 98 kN with afterburner. The most interesting thing about any aircraft is its weapon package. The Tejas MK2 could carry 6500 kgs of armament with its 13 hardpoints and 23mm cannon. The aircraft would be armed with a combination of weapons like Astra MK1 range 110 km, Astra MK2 range 200 km, and maybe even Astra SFDR MK3 range 350 km in BVR combat.
Tejas MK2 is expected to have a ferry range of 3,500 km. Ferry range is the maximum range of an aircraft with the maximum fuel it can carry with its internal fuel tanks and three drop tanks. Otherwise, the minimum predicted combat range of Tejas MK2 is 1,500 km, which is quite impressive. The glass cockpit of the Tejas Mark II will be compatible with night vision goggles and will be dominated by a touch-sensitive wide-area display in panoramic orientation, as well as a wide-angle holographic head-up display system. To reduce pilot workload, the Tejas Mark II will have a hands-on throttle and stick arrangement, with the right hand on the stick and the left hand on the throttle. The cockpit would be so advanced that it could be optionally manned, meaning that if the pilot faints out due to extreme G-forces, the pilot's HMD would alert ground control, which would be able to take control of the plane. The Tejas MK2 will also have a radar-absorbent material coating, which is being developed by DRDO for AMCA. Additionally, the GE F414 engines can supercruise, which reduces the plane's infrared signature, because the pilot will not have to use the afterburner to make the plane travel faster than the speed of sound, because supercruise allows the plane to cruise at supersonic speeds. The Tejas MK2 is set to debut in September 2022, with the first flight scheduled for 2023 and production beginning in 2025. However, given the current situation, there could be a further delay due to the COVID-19 situation. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Tejas MK2 fighter jet. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.